You were just passing, my friend, and we haven't had a conversation, have we? No, no. no. Uh, just while we were setting up the camera because you agreed to be filmed. And um, can I ask a question, my friend? Uh, you, you said, as you were passing, you said you're a Catholic, is that right? I'm a Catholic, yeah, I grew up a Catholic, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. You said you're a Catholic, okay. And you're born and bred in this area? I was born in Ireland, but I came here when I was about three years old. Okay, yeah. so you came from Ireland to Britain yeah. when you were three years of age, okay. Yeah. What I'd like to ask you is that, so there's a protest march going on here about something. Uh, what I'd like to ask you, I'll ask you, Pat, uh, you said your name is Patrick, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Patrick. And I just got that name while we were setting up yeah. the camera. Because people might think, how did I know that beforehand? Is anyone setting up? We haven't had a conversation. I've seen you in my life, right? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's very kind of you, Patrick. Okay, Patrick. And uh, the question I'd like to ask you, Patrick, is, uh, and this is I asked you while we were setting up, do you believe Jesus is God? Or do you believe Jesus was somebody sent by God? Because you're a Catholic like you said yeah, even even though I'm a Catholic I don't believe in everything that's written I, I believe in like I, I, I actually like the way that he's a, to me I think he's just a prophet like a messenger from God like a lot, a lot of all the other prophets before them and uh, that's why I believe I, I don't believe he's a God he's a God so you say you're a Catholic but you like to believe that Jesus peace be upon him is a prophet of God yeah, a messenger of God yes well I've always believed yeah, I've always felt like that I, I just think the message has got lost in the Bible somewhere that's what I think you know so you believe he's a prophet or messenger of God but the message has got lost somewhere yeah, okay yeah, yeah. and that's okay why, that's why Catholics think he's God that's just what I think yeah, okay. yeah. brilliant okay fine uh, I'd like to ask you Patrick do you accept Muhammad as a messenger of God also yeah, yeah I do yeah yeah I'm, uh, yeah I'm right you accept that literally literally I stopped you about two three minutes ago yeah, yeah, yeah. and you said you're a Catholic uh, but now you're saying that Muhammad is a messenger of God, peace be upon him? Yeah, peace be upon him. I've read his life story like from the age of 40 onwards, all about him and that, and how, what a good person he was, and all that. And yeah, I believe he's a messenger. Then you're a Muslim, my friend. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what I am, mate. You're really a Muslim. If you say that there is one God and this God alone should be worshipped, this God is almighty, all powerful, all seeing, all hearing. He has no beginning, he has no end. He is so powerful. God says in the Quran nothing in the heavens or on the earth is hidden from him anywhere there's nothing whatsoever that is hidden from me. That's absolutely amazing. You agree with that? I believe all that. I believe all that. You agree this God is not a man or a woman. He has no beginning. He has no end. Power, isn't it? He's absolutely incredible power. The universe was created. Everything in the universe is created by him. That's right. Everything in the universe and beyond the universe. Yeah. All the planets in the distance. That's the right. ones we don't know about. That's right. It's all there, created by him. By him. You agree with that concept of God, okay? Okay, but that's, that's a Muslim view of God. And he doesn't need to sleep and he doesn't need to rest. No, no, so, no. And the Christ, however, Christianity says God created the heavens and the earth in six days and rested on the seventh day. The Quran says that God doesn't need to rest and no weariness touched him after he'd created everything. Makes sense, more sense, yeah? Yeah, it does make more sense. Really, you are actually a Muslim, my friend, okay? So I would suggest, Patrick, that you say, say two sentences to confirm you're a Muslim. I know it's not a long conversation we've had, it's only about two or three minutes. And what are the, these are two, com, uh, two sentences. First sentence, Patrick, I bear witness that there is nothing worthy of worship except Almighty God in Arabic or his proper name we believe is Allah. There is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Okay, 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 one second. And the second sentence, you're already saying it. The second sentence, um, Patrick, is that, and I bear witness, that means, and I'm sure that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his servant and his messenger. If you say these two sentences, which are really, you're not changing your beliefs, no. although you said you're Catholic, you're just confirming what you believed in anyway, and you'd actually be a Muslim. Yeah. What does that mean? It means that according to Islam, you are ultimately promised to go into paradise. The reason being that any Muslim will eventually go into paradise. We are answerable for our sins, obviously. However, ultimately all Muslims will go into paradise. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said. So what I'm saying is that uh, if you see these two sentences, although you say you're a Catholic, really what your beliefs are Muslim beliefs and you'd be a Muslim. Are you happy to say the two sentences? Yeah, yeah. yeah then you'd be a Muslim, happy. Patrick. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, quite happy. Although I stopped you only literally three or four minutes ago, okay? Yeah. Okay, the two sentences. I bear witness. I bear witness. That there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Nothing worthy, worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness. And I bear witness. That Muhammad, peace be upon him. That Muhammad, peace be upon him. 
is his servant and his messenger. Is his servant and his messenger. Okay. And you say it in Arabic also, it's exactly the same words, not different. You say, Ashhadu. Ashhadu. An. An. La ilaha. La ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Wa. Wa. Rasuluhu. Rasuluhu. Congratulations, Patrick. You're actually a Muslim now. Right. You're happy with that? Yeah, I'm not fussy. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy. If that's what I am. Yeah, that's what you are. That's what your beliefs are. It's not about labels. You see, people say, well, I'm actually a Christian. I say to them, look, I say I'm a Catholic or I'm Jewish or I'm some other religion. Most I say, Christians are closer to Islam than they realize. That's right. Absolutely correct. Because if you follow Christianity properly, you're very close to Islam. Yeah. If you follow, yeah. well, if you follow Christianity, yeah. you wouldn't be a Muslim. However, if you follow Jesus in the Bible, you'd be a Muslim. You can't be anything else. This is the point. If you follow Jesus, look, Jesus had a beard. According to the Bible, he prayed by putting his head on the ground. He used to pray like that, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Right. That's yeah. in the Bible. His forehead used to be on the floor and you all that. That's correct. exactly right. Yeah. I normally tell people this, but you're that's telling. True. That's, that's true. right. You're confirming. That's right. Yeah, yeah, and that's true. Mary, the mother of Jesus. You see the ladies here walking around with a hijab on. Yeah. How did Mary used to dress? It's the same with Catholic nuns. They dress the same. They all cover up. They don't cover their hair completely, but Mary used to cover her hair completely. Originally, Catholics were meant to keep themselves well covered. We were meant, to, and we weren't meant to drink either. We were meant to do many things that happens in Islam today. We were meant to live a moral life as well. That's right. Originally, the original Catholics. That's the proper. But people don't follow it properly. That's the so trouble. Now, as a Muslim, you've become a true follower of Jesus, peace be upon him. Literally, in about five minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, as, as you said, most Christians don't realize what they believe in is closer to Islam than Catholicism. Yeah, they don't realize. No, they, they don't. Fantastic. Yeah, because half half the Bible, Muslims follow half of the Bible anyway. You know, there's a lot. Well, Muslims are happy to follow what Jesus says in the Bible, not the things that Saint Paul said. Rubbish that's put in it. It's all the man. I didn't want to say that. But you said it. Yeah, there's a lot of rubbish man man put in the Bible. That that doesn't make sense. That's that's why the original Bible, when you read it properly, from what all about Jesus and all that, that's the proper Bible. Absolutely fantastic, uh, uh, Patrick. Is congratulations. Can I give you a hug? I know it's not a very English way of doing things. Don't mind. We're brothers, isn't we? We're brothers. Alhamdulillah, we're brothers. That's right. Congratulations. Now, yeah, yeah. Alhamdulillah, we're brothers. Now that's true. Exactly what the Quran says. Yeah. We're brothers now, alhamdulillah. Uh, Allah says in the Quran that the believers are nothing but else but be, uh, brothers. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, of course. Yeah. Brothers in a general term. So brothers and sisters, we're all brothers and sisters, alhamdulillah. I'll give you a hug. Congratulations, you're a Muslim. It's a big thing. <laughs> That's absolutely fantastic.